This is where you can start to enter the details needed to complete your import declaration. The left-hand menu is categorized into different types of information. It represents the different types of data needed to enter before submitting a declaration to the HMRC. The red and green dots indicate whether the section is completed. All dots need to be green for it to be ready for submission. The exporter details need to be completed with the company who has sold you the goods and is based outside of the UK. They are also known as the exporter. All mandatory fields are marked with the asterisks and the information icons will give you help if needed. Once the fields are completed, select Importer Details at the bottom of the screen to proceed to the next section. The Importer Details screen will have automatically populated with the details of the account. They can be overtyped and changed if necessary. All mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk and the information icons will give you help if needed. Once you have checked the information is correct or have amended any necessary fields, select the Delivery Details button at the bottom of the screen to proceed. The Delivery Details section needs to be completed with the address of where the goods are being delivered. In most cases, this will be the same address as the importer, so select Copy Importer Details. The Add Goods screen is where you need to add in the details of the goods being imported. Select the Add Goods button. Enter the description of the goods shown on the supporting commercial documents, for example, toy cars. Select Next. You will then be asked to enter in the country of origin. You can start to type in the full name of the country or the two-letter UN code of the country if you know it. Select the Next button. You will then need to attach the supporting commercial documents for this export. Select the Upload Document button. Select the first field and the drop-down list of document types will be displayed. For example, Commercial Invoice. Enter the identifying number for the supporting documents into the appropriate field. Select File for Upload. This will allow you to browse your PC and select a copy of the commercial invoice that relates to your shipment for uploading to the shipment declaration. Select Next to enter or search for your commodity code. If you already know the commodity code, type it into the field. If not, select the Get Commodity Code from HMRC button will take you to the UK Government Website Tariff Lookup Tool. Enter the commodity code, then select the next button. You will be shown a screen showing the details of the tariff code and be asked to confirm if the code is correct. Once confirmed, please select the yes button. The duty calculation screen must be completed as part of an import declaration. From the drop-down menu, select the INCO terms that have been agreed and the contract of sale between you and the exporter. You then need to enter value of the freight and the overseas charges that have been paid to collect the goods from the shipper up to arrival in the UK port. This is governed by your INCO terms selected in the previous field. If you have taken out any insurance premium on your shipment, this must also be entered. This is for a single policy and does not include goods covered by the Marine Policy Insurance. If required, please also enter currency used in the drop-down menu to the right. Other charges, deductions, does not need to be completed. You must enter the total of all costs from UK to EU border to the delivery point of address, excluding duty. These additional costs can include such things as unloading, port charges and fuel. Select the currency used from the drop-down menu. Select Transport Details at the bottom of the screen to proceed.
The Your Job reference will be automatically populated from the previous information entered at the start of the declaration. Enter the country of registration of the vehicle from the drop down menu and enter the registration number of the vehicle carrying the goods. If the vehicle is accompanied, select Yes. The trailer registration number should be completed if applicable, along with the ferry operator and the IMO number. Details of the ferry route must then be completed, including the ports of departure and arrival, the dates and the times. Select Make Declarant button on the bottom right screen. This will show you as a declarant if you have signed the letter of authority and are shown as a named declarant on the account. The representation status will have been confirmed when the account was originally opened. Without a signed LOA and confirmed declarant, a declaration cannot be submitted to the HMRC. You will now be able to click Make Payment and Pay for the declaration.